equation is consider a network with five nodes n1 n2 n3 n4 and n5 the distance vectors at different nodes are n1 is 0 comma 1 comma 7 comma 8 comma 4 n2 is 1 0 6 7 3 n3 is 7 6 0 2 6 n4 is 8 7 2 0 4 and n5 is 4 3 6 4 0 so basically distance vectors are the best known distances between the uh, between different nodes and the distance between a node to itself is 0 so the question is the cost of the link between n2 and n3 reduces to 2 from 6 after the next round of updates what will be the distance vector at n3 option a 3 2 0 2 5 option b 3 2 0 2 6 option c 7 2 0 2 5 and option d 7 2 0 2 6 so in the given graph we the question is the distance between n2 and n3 reduces to 2 from 6 so the graph will become n1 n2 n3 n4 and n5 so the other distances remain the same it will be 1 it will be 3 and this will be 4 this will be 2 and the question says this is changed from 6 to 2 so initially the distance vector at n3 was 7 6 0 2 6 that is the best distance the shortest distance between n3 and n1 was 6 plus 1 7 n3 and n2 was 6 distance from n3 to itself is 0 and the distance between n3 and n4 was 2 and the distance between n3 and n5 was the best distance was 2 plus 4 6 so now we have to find the same distance vector for this so the first value in the distance vector is n3 to n1 so the best distance is 2 plus 1 3 n3 to n2 is 2 n3 to itself is 0 n3 to n4 is 2 n3 to n5 there are two parts this is 3 plus 2 5 and this is 2 plus 4 6 so 5 is the lowest value so uh, the distance between n3 to n5 is 5 so this is the distance vector at the next round of updates if if a change if this change was made between two rounds of updates only the values at n2 and n4 that is the neighbors of n3 would have changed but the question is what will be the distance vector after the next round of updates so everything would have shared and the distance vector would be updated so the correct option is option a 3 2 0 2 and 5 so option a is the right answer the next part is the distance between n2 and n3 reduces to 2 and the link n1 n2 goes down after the next round of updates what will be the cost to n1 in the distance vector of n3 so uh, the new in this question it said that the distance the link between n2 and n1 goes down so as soon as the link goes down the distance vector of n2 alone will reflect this change by putting the distance of n2 to n1 as infinity so we will see the new uh, graph now so we have n1 we have n2 we have n3 so this says the uh, the distance between n2 to n3 is uh, reduces to 2 and the rest are all the same so it will be 3 4 and 2 and the link between n1 and n2 goes down so basically there is some problem in the link and the link goes down so now as soon as the link goes down uh, the link between n1 and n2 goes down the distance vector of n2 will be this so it will say the distance from n2 to n1 is infinity n2 to itself is 0 n2 to n3 is 2 n2 to n4 is 2 plus 2 4 and n2 to n5 is 3 okay so this will be the distance vector now the question is what will be the cost to n1 in the distance vector of n3 so now n3 
will will have to look at its distance vector to find the cost to n1 so what n3 will do is in according to the distance vector protocol uh, it will ask its neighbors for their distance to the destination so now n3's neighbors are n2 and n4 so right now as soon as the link fails only n2 has modified its distance to n1 as infinity n5 will still have it as 3 plus 1 initially this was 1 so n5 will have it as 4 and n4 will have the distance to n1 as 4 plus 3 plus 1 8 so n3 will ask n2 n2 will say infinity n2 will return infinity as the value then n3 will ask n4 for the distance to n1 so n4 will say its distance is 8 so n this distance vector protocol will is a greedy protocol so it takes the minimum value so n3 got two values one from n2 which is infinity and one from n4, n4 which is 8 so it will take the distance it will take this value the value returned by n4 now the distance from n3 to n1 is the distance from n4 to n1 plus the distance from n3 to n4 so the distance from n3 to n4 is 2 and the distance from n4 to n1 is 8 so the final distance from n3 to n1 will be 8 plus 2 which is 10 so the uh, correct option is option c 10 here the main thing to, to be noted is even though the link between n1 and n2 has gone down for the the change to be uh, reflected in all the nodes it takes more than one round of updates so this infinity hasn't been updated at n4 thus n3 gives 10 as an option even though it is not so option c 10 is the right answer